Today we're looking at another product from Wilbur'sFinest.com. This is a 3D printed uh, material. It's a spare round holder or match saver, some people call them. It's going to come in this little package right here, and it says it works on key mod and M lock. Surprisingly, it'll work on both. That's cool. You can go check them out on Facebook as well if you want to see his other designs and products. I got this one in, and I was pleasantly surprised. It is rigid. It's nice and, and strong feeling. Uh, which putting out on an AR, I kind of want it to be because I throw that gun around a little bit. Installation is not going to be difficult, guys. If you've ever worked with anything M Lock or Key Mod, just grab your T nut, line those up so that they're going to fit through the slots. It's really not difficult at all. And you have multiple spaces there. So, whatever rail you're working with, I think you're going to be able to make that work on just about any rail. Slides right in. Remember that this is 3D printed, so you don't need to tighten it down quite as, as hard as you would with aluminum or something else. It's not going to back out. It might even retain better. And slip your rounds in. So I have some nickel-plated uh, Winchester here. It's kind of a hunting round. Slipped in really nice. I tried it on bigger calibers as well. I tried it on uh, 6.5 Creedmoor, 308, um, some other casings that I had sitting around, and just about everything I had, center fire that was uh, medium size, uh, even some larger cartridges did fit in there just fine. Wasn't concerned about fitment at all. You can see that um, the actual diameter of the groove cut in there, it'll fit quite a few. In the elastic band, I actually got an extra one in my package, so I believe you'll be getting an extra elastic band in case you somehow damage it or misuse it and break it. But honestly, the way it's constructed, this thing seems pretty bomb-proof. You can see how I used it on my AR setup here. I know sometimes uh, a match saver would be useful on an AR, especially if you're doing an AR match and you need one extra bullet, there you go. Uh, it's pretty common in the PRS world right now. I'm going to talk about the right way to use it and uh, actually pull a bullet out. So here's the wrong way. Right here, trying to grab the tail, that's not a good way to grab it, especially with a small little cartridge. I suggest grabbing it by the nose and pushing back, and then it slips right in. So if you're in a hunting scenario or something like that, you have one kind of ammo loaded up and you see another critter that you're allowed to take as game, you could have two kinds of ammo on you and have a, a couple bullets right there to go ahead and load up quick and take a different kind of game. So it's not just a, a gun game uh, gimmick. I actually think this has real purpose, and I like them. I plan to get a couple more and put them on some of my other rifles. Basically, anything with a rail, this is going to be good to go, as long as you're not shooting like a 50 BMG. I don't think those would fit in here real well, but most of the other centerfire cartridges, this is a good product, and it gets my stamp of approval.